with no further ado, let's go ahead and get rolling. Okay. All right, everyone should be able to see the presentation now. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. Really appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your busy schedule uh, to join me for this presentation. Uh, for those who do not know me, my name is Brian Bandmeter. I'm a marketing manager here at Grandstream Networks. Uh, and today we're going to be covering the GVC3220 and also the companion device, the GMD1208. It's a Bluetooth microphone, but we'll get into that a little bit later uh, as well. Uh, but we're taking a sneak peek at our sort of next generation here uh, of video conferencing. Definitely very exciting. Uh, once again, if you're watching via the IP Video Talk portal, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to go ahead and use that Q&A feature. Uh, it's at the bottom of the portal. If you're watching via Facebook or YouTube, feel free to just go ahead and leave a comment, and we'll be getting back to you that way. If you have any questions afterwards as well, uh, you will be getting uh, the slides uh, in a recording of this afterwards, feel free to just kind of reply to that email. It'll come directly to me, and I'll be able to help you out there as well. So the GVC3220 GMD1208, sort of uh, our next generation video conferencing devices. So before we kind of go straight into it, let's take a look at just video conferencing, right? At least when it comes with GrantStream. Um, it's a must-need tool for any business or organization uh, is really the case especially in you know times like these um, you know let's just be honest the pandemic has absolutely created a sincere need for remote work and video conferencing tools uh, and this is really just a sort of status quo that we're expecting to see perpetuated long after the pandemic is gone I really uh, propelled remote work and video collaboration uh, into sort of a more modern and frequently used space. Uh, but video conferencing and video calling, it's an indispensable collaboration tool to sort of get everyone on the same page. Uh, really when you need to have those meetings that do require more work to come together, more collaboration helps a lot. Uh, but nearly all of us, I'm sure, have substantially increased the use of platforms, applications, and hardware related to real-time communications. But this is with organizations, they really seek to have their employees as connected as possible. So enter the GVC 3220 uh, solution to sort of start bringing everyone together to sort of connect all these uh, disconnected, geographically disconnected, whether it be coworkers, clients, uh, et cetera. But it's a revolutionary video conferencing system provides an interactive and immersive environment to increase collaboration and productivity. You know, that's always the goal when it comes to installing these sort of devices uh, you know, in offices, is to sort of be able to create a virtual place where people can get together and get things done. So just to take a quick look at some of the details of the GBC 3220, it's an ultra HD multimedia conferencing system. So this really helps take any video communications to the next level for any uh, major office uh, or business, classrooms. But it supports crisp video quality with ultra full HD 4K video output. So you can get the highest quality possible out of your video collaboration. An 8 megapixel CMOS sensor. Wide angle lens with up to a 12x optical zoom. So, you know, when these are getting deployed in larger sort of conference rooms, boardrooms, be able to really leverage uh, that zoom to bring attention from viewers to specific areas. Uh, full pan tilt zoom capabilities. And of course, as well, a built in dual band Wi Fi and Bluetooth 5.0, those wireless deployments. 
So when we're sort of looking at this device, we also want to think of the sort of wide angle lens, the pan tilt zoom, definitely a very important feature with this device. You want to have as many people included uh, as possible, as well as being able to have sort of control and customization of the video collaboration and the video conferencing experience, whether this is bringing the device itself to be focused in on a specific speaker, setting up presets to be able to go through and look at, let's say, um, you know, whiteboard, chalkboard, anything like that. So with the GVC 3220 as well, you can host conferences without needing any kind of external platforms whatsoever. It does have that integrated MCU, same with all of our, with most of our other GVC 3200 models. Uh, so that's up to five participants at 1080p at 30 FPS, up to nine participants with 720p, 30 FPS, and this is using, you know, for example, SIP, H323 uh, platforms. But it easily can just bring everyone together uh, into one conferencing space. No external platforms needed in that case. Uh, so if there are a variety of different uh, video conferencing devices being used, it's definitely one use case for this device. Uh, real quick on that, though, you know, what exactly is an MCU? It's a multi-point control unit for those who may not be too familiar with it. Uh, but the function of the MCU, it helps manage the communication between all these various different terminals, brings them all under one place. And then each port in general of the MCU acts serve as this networking interface, which devices that are wishing to participate in the video conference can connect. So it can very easily bring things together. That's what we want. Of course, it does also support Mirrorcast and AirPlay. Definitely want to sort of give some focus on that, too. Really easy to share content, ideas, thoughts, stay collaborative, get anything that you are looking at uh, reference to anyone who is participating in the video conference. And this is all done securely and wirelessly as well with a high-definition video of up to 1080p. That way, if you are referencing any documents, PowerPoints, etc., you have the highest quality possible. Just taking a quick look at the device itself. There's our CMOS sensor uh, on the front end. Status LED, which sort of did, will indicate whether or not the device is on and if it's experiencing any errors. Infrared receiver is on the bottom. Speaker uh, for ultrasound sync on the front as well course at 12x lens. Taking a look at the back real quick, uh, we do have that one HDMI in for any sort of uh, hardline connections that you want to bring. It does have a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack and an audio input jack as well. So it also has two HDMI outs, so if you want to go ahead and connect this to up to two screens, definitely possible for your deployment. And then your standard uh, DC48V input, two RJ45 ports, one for media, one for networking, and a reset pin. So basically, when we're looking at these ports, how you can utilize it, it provides more and more customability to your deployments. And that's definitely what we want to create when it comes to the GBC 3220, a video conferencing, ultra HD multimedia conference system that can be totally and completely customized to where it is getting deployed. So looking at some of the audio capabilities here, of course, when it comes to video conferencing, it's not all video. If you can't hear what someone's saying, that's kind of an issue. Uh, but audio is definitely half the experience, and that's something we keep in mind. It has multiple options uh, for clear, high-quality audio experience during your conferences. So that's kind of where I want to start introduce the GMD-1208, give a quick little sneak peek on that. Definitely this isn't the you know, main part of the show here today, but it is definitely important. The GMD-1208 is a desktop wireless microphone. It's a companion device for the GVC-3220. Um, I know this question usually comes up. Yes, it can operate on its own as well. Uh, but this provides, uh, in this use case, better audio quality uh, for your conferencing calls, for those conferencing environments. It has eight omnidirectional microphone arrays, a touch button easily to just mute 
and unmute it. A built-in rechargeable battery, micro USB port for charging, and a proprietary 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology for communication with the GVC3220. This device is specifically designed to be able to seamlessly work with the GVC3220 to eliminate as much sort of lag between audio and video as possible. And it does have Bluetooth, like I said, to connect to other devices. It has a rather large pickup range as well, uh, which is very fantastic when it comes to this device. And just to kind of give you an idea as well, uh, if you are familiar with, you know, let's say a hockey puck, this thing is roughly the size of that. Uh, it quite literally does fit uh, in the palm of your hand. A lot of technology built into a small package when it comes to this. So the JVC3220 and the GMD1208 together. Uh, it's all about better, better, excuse me, better audio quality for the conference calls. But this device itself, like I said, it has up to a five meter pickup range with each GMD1208. Up to two of the GMD1208 microphones can actually be connected to a GBC3220 at any one time, which absolutely massively increases the audio range of this of the GVC3220 device making sure that you keep everyone connected easily uh, and cover an entire meeting room. So when we're talking about security, it's always a very important thing, especially in a world that's going increasingly and increasingly more and more remote. Uh, but it does have secure boot up. Security certificates built in with the device as well, a randomized password uh, for each and every single GVC3220 unit. So there's no kind of those default admin admin situations. Of course, it does have call encryption. Your security definitely matters with us and the security of your clients are very important. And just some various other grant stream backend uh, advanced mechanisms uh, that just sort of keep the device secure. All right, uh, so just kind of taking a quick look too. Uh, so when you know, you guys as installers or resellers uh, or distributors, if you're in here, purchase device, what exactly uh, would come with it? But we do have the GVC3220, GMD1208, remote control, uh, batteries, power supply, network cable, HDMI cables, bracket, and of course, cleaning cloth all sort of included within the box of, you know, I happen to have one in front of me right now, which is the sneak peeks. Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> But, uh, you know, this is the things that I would be pulling out and showing. All right, so IP Video Talk uh, and GDMS. Um, so for those who are not familiar with these two solutions, IP Video Talk is our cloud uh, video conferencing solution. And GDMS uh, is our cloud management solution. So touch on Grandstream Cloud Service Integration. You know, this really helps you take your collaboration experience to the next level, um, really helps you completely create a full grand stream solution as easily as possible with these companion uh, cloud surfaces. All right, excuse me just one second. I'm just going to take a quick drink of water. All right, so GBC 3220 and GDMS. Uh, so this is all about provisioning and managing from the cloud. So the Grandstream device management system, uh, it really provides easy to use enterprise grade tools uh, to sort of manage your Grandstream products like never before, during, after the deployment, all from the cloud. Uh, if you're not utilizing this right now, um, you know, as an installer or as a reseller, definitely go to gdms.cloud and check it out. Um, it's a really fantastic system to manage your grand stream deployments. But configuration, management, and monitoring of devices, accounts, and firmware can all be done from the cloud. Uh, real time monitoring, smart alarms, troubleshooting, diagnostic supports, of course, automated firmware updates, device resets, and use logs as well. All right, IP Video Talk meetings, a little bit more actually relatable to what we are sort of going over today. 
but this allows anyone to connect from anywhere at any time. Uh, so if you're not familiar with IP Video Talk, it's our 100% cloud-based platform for online meetings and webinars. So it helps bring everyone into one space as well in this case. And this is sort of allows anyone to connect to from any Mac, mobile device, phone line, uh, PC, uh, or smart device as well. It's actually what you are watching <laughs> this uh, this presentation on today right now is using IP Video Talks uh, cloud service. Uh, but some of the included features here: uh, HD video and audio, shared desktop, chat, whiteboards, webinar integration with YouTube and Facebook Live. Cloud uh, storage, it's only a short list, but it goes even longer. But this definitely is a solution to help bring everyone together. Uh, the very cool thing about this too is that it does work with our GVC 3220. Getting that in a second though, uh, just to take a quick look at some of the plans here. Uh, we do have our basic pro and business. But all of our plans support up to 49 simultaneous video feeds. I'll just leave this here in just one quick second. All right. So the GVC room system. Uh, so this is an add-on plan. So if you want to go ahead and add your GVC to it, you definitely can. So the add-on plan allows the user to basically take any of our GVC series device, so in this case, you know, the GVC 3220, enjoy all the functions it has of IP Video Talk um, by entering and participating, hosting sessions uh, directly from this video conferencing uh, hardware. So we actually have two options, a light plan, a standard plan. Uh, so... The light room conferencing system is only for our basic plans. So just kind of go back. It's only for that basic IP video talk meeting. This allows meetings up to three hours, unlimited webinars, two gigabytes of storage, VoIP and tool dial-in. And the standard add-on room system plan to the IP video talk plans uh, are for basic pro and business. Uh, this is definitely for a little bit more of a hands-on video conferencing experience uh, where it's being utilized more lot. Um, but this is meetings of up to six hours, unlimited webinars for the device, five gigabytes of storage, and of course, VoIP and toll dial-in. I don't want to go too much down the wormhole on this, but if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, you know, this is definitely one to probably email me on. If you have any questions on pricing, um, I'll be able to help you afterwards and get you connected to the right resources. But if we're looking at IP video talk meetings uh, and additional add-on plans as well, you can go ahead and add participants, extra cloud storage, and have massively increased webinar participants as well. So like I said, it's all about customizing and being able to utilize this device uh, with as many leeway and flexibility as possible. And this allows for that. All right, let's just take a quick look at some of the deployment scenarios here. Um, you know, meeting rooms, classrooms, and auditoriums are absolutely uh, one of the main deployments. <laughs> and I'm sorry, if you guys give me one second, this is kind of ridiculous, but my cat sort of got in a spot he's not supposed to and it's knocking stuff down. <laughs> the problems of working from home, right? <laughs> sorry, give me one moment, everyone. All right, everyone, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Working from home definitely has its problems, and one of them is 
If you have any animals, I'm sure you've experienced them <laughs> sort of jumping up in places they should not be <laughs> when you're trying to give a presentation. <laughs> All right, but nevertheless, we continue on. Um, so the GBC 3220, talking about some of the deployment scenarios here. Meeting rooms is, of course, a completely natural one. When it comes to the device, easily put this in any size meeting room. Uh, this also includes larger conference rooms and even board rooms as well is a natural deployment for this device. We kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, I think um, two weeks ago, but uh, you know, it's the vaccine starting to roll out. People are starting to go back into the office more and more. Um, some people are still working remote. Conferencing devices, meeting rooms, and conference rooms are definitely going to be start getting utilized as a way to bring everyone together in one spot. Uh, so definitely meeting rooms, natural deployment. Uh, when it comes to classrooms, uh, this device could also, of course, be leveraged uh, as a, an assisted le a learning device, especially for uh, individuals who are learning from afar. And of course, auditoriums as well. Very natural deployment for this device, especially with the GMD integration and along with the integration uh, with any auxiliary microphone with the device as well. All these are great deployments for the device to really utilize it to its full possibility uh, and keep any virtual individuals involved. All right. Okay, everyone, so that is everything for our presentation today. Uh, you will be getting the slides and the, oh, I'm sorry about that. Actually, just didn't go to the last two slides here. Okay. Okay, so talking about some of the deployment scenarios in a little bit more detail. Our meeting rooms here. Uh, standard deployment of the device would be with the GVC 3220 and a single GMD. And of course, for larger boardrooms, this could be expanded, such as like this, two GMDs, larger pickup range. This is for some of your larger sort of boardroom, conference room deployments. So that is our presentation. Uh, we are getting right up on our time here of 30 minutes. I definitely wanna make sure I allow you guys to go on with your day really quick, uh, but let me go ahead and come back on here uh, and I will answer any questions that you may have. Okay. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, so definitely a question I saw a few times here when presenting um, was questions about speakers. Uh, this definitely, definitely a good one to bring up. Uh, so the device itself typically uh, will have to connect to any external speaker. So this will be done through, uh, for example, the uh, any TVs that you may connect it to using the HDMI ports. Uh, but keep in mind, the device itself also has the aux out option uh, so that would be able to get connected to any sort of analog auxiliary sort of device uh, and so essentially if this is getting deployed in any kind of situation so let's say like an auditorium for example it actually would be able to just get connected straight up to uh, any auxiliary device like that so if you would want anyone to sort of be able to communicate virtually uh, that would definitely be one option All right, I'm going to take a look at the Q&A real quick. And just as a reminder to everyone, I do have a few people ask me, I will be sending out the presentation, both the recording and the slides. Uh, so I'll be emailing that out. Yeah, so Faith, you asked a pretty good question. What's the major difference between the GVC 3200 and the GVC 3220? Uh, I would just say the GVC 3220 essentially just offers a large uh, upgrade, essentially. Uh, it's a little bit much more of a higher end device. Of course, we have the 4K audio. We also have a much more flexible deployment scenario as well with all the various uh, audio input and output uh, options. Uh, of course, both of them do support IP video talk in this way as well. Uh, for the maximum GMD 1208 that can be connected to the GBC 3220, that was asked. Uh, so once again, there's two. So two of those devices can be connected to it at any one time. Uh, can we use 
three CX on Grandstream systems. Uh, we do support uh, uh, some of our devices are supported by three CX. Uh, I don't believe the GBC thirty two twenty is supported yet, uh, or if it will. But I can definitely look more into that and answer that question further uh, when I send out the follow up email. So this device does, um, someone asked, does it run on an Android operating system? Yes, uh, it definitely does run in, run on the Android operating system. Um, so this means it can run, um, you know, Zoom, Google Meet, et cetera. Uh, it runs on the Android 9 operating system, I believe. Um, so as long as those sort of video conferencing options are supported, uh, by that Android version, you can run it on uh, the GBC 3220. It is technically an option, yes. Um, you know, we definitely would suggest utilizing either the built-in MCU if you're doing SIP or to SIP or SIP to HT, H323 conferences, um, or most importantly, leveraging IP Video Talk is a great resource to bring everyone together as well. Uh, is there external cameras for the device uh, for larger room coverage? Unfortunately, no, there is not. But, you know, the GVC 3220 does have that uh, wide angle lens and a large pan tilt zoom range. Uh, and that zoom range, like I said, goes up to 12x. So definitely a tool to be leveraged in that way for larger deployments. Okay. All right, everyone, well, we're getting right up on the, on my time limit here. We're getting right up on 30 minutes. Uh, I do see some questions in the chat, so don't worry. I will get to them uh, in my follow-up email. There will be a little FAQ section at the bottom, and I'll go ahead and answer those there. Uh, if you can come up with any questions afterwards, feel free to go ahead and just respond to that email. Uh, just email me at brianbandmeter at grandstream.com. Let me know. Uh, but nevertheless, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to learn about our upcoming GVC 3220 and also the companion GMD 1208 microphone. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Take care. Bye-bye.